Modulation We often hear this word when speaking about communication systems. It is a simple concept often overlooked or misunderstood but very important to understand since it forms the base for wireless communications. In this video, we will see what is modulation, its basic types and importance of modulation. Let's get started. Generally, when we describe a signal, we talk about its three important characteristics. Frequency, Amplitude and Phase Modulation is a simple process in which a carrier signal of constant phase, frequency and amplitude is modified by non-linear input signal. As a result, we will have a signal output which changes its characteristics corresponding with modulating signal. In most wireless communication systems, audio signal of frequency ranging from 20 Hz to 20 kHz will be used as modulating signal. Now let's take a look at the three basic types of modulation. Frequency modulation. In this type of modulation, frequency of the carrier signal will be altered with respect to modulating signal. As a result, we will obtain modified frequency signal in output. Amplitude modulation. Here, amplitude of carrier signal will be altered with respect to modulating signal and we will get amplitude modified signal as output. Phase modulation. Phase of the carrier signal will be modified in this method and we will obtain phase modified signal in the output. Apart from these three, there are many other modulation techniques like DSP, SSP, VSB, QAM, ASK, FSK, PSK and much more. Let's take a look at the three main advantages of modulation. Number one, to transmit the signal to long distances. Low frequency signals like audio or any other signals are incapable of propagating to long distance on their own. When modulating them with a high frequency carrier signal, the modulated output will obtain high frequency characteristics and as a result, it can propagate longer and in turn provides more range to the user. This can be simply explained using famous tone and paper analogy. Imagine a paper as your audio signal and when you throw it in the air, it's so obvious that paper will not go any distance since it lacks the weight. Now wrap the paper around a stone which represents your carrier signal. When you throw the stone wrapped paper now, it will go much further due to the stone's weight. Modulation works the same way as paper and stone where the high frequency carrier signal provides the ability to reach longer distance for audio signal. Number 2. To reduce the size of antenna. Antennas are used to propagate the signals into atmosphere. Consider an unmodulated audio signal of frequency 20 kHz the antenna height for propagating this signal would be of 3.75 km and it's totally impossible to build such antenna. However, if you modulate them to 1 MHz then you need an antenna of 7.5 meters only. That is totally possible. Number 3. Avoid mixing of signals. We all know that frequency of audio signal ranges from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. So if two devices send out unmodulated audio signals, it will result in mixing and eventually the receiver will receive some gibberish audio which will be of no use. But when modulated, signal from device 1 and 2 will propagate in individual reserved bands and therefore preventing the audio signal from mixing. Apart from these, modulation holds other advantages like multiplexing signals, reducing noise distortions, reducing the equipment complexity, and so on. And that is why you need modulation. Hope this video taught you something valuable. Check out the links in video description for more resources on modulation. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and do share it with others. If you like what we are doing, Consider subscribing to our channel for more tutorial videos on electronics. Do leave your queries and suggestions in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.